Welcome back. As you guys can tell by the title, it is essay writing week. My first deadline is coming up, so I'm going to take you guys the, like, behind the scenes of how I write my essay. The aim is to get first. I usually get two ones. I've only gotten a, gotten a first a couple times, which is why I'm going to... Wait for the by. <laughs> which is why I'm actually going to like take this process like slower and do things that I usually wouldn't. I never do readings beforehand, so I've always had my title and then I will just like roughly already know like what I want to talk about in the essay without really like researching. Obviously that's stupid. Um, there you go. I'm just going to spend time first just reading, like literally just reading. And then hopefully by just reading it will point me in the direction of like what I should be writing about. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I've never done this. I'm literally like been in uni for three years now. I am in second year though, I'm not actually in third year. And if I do get first in it, then I will do like a part two and like, yeah, I'll just do a part two. I'm sure I have something to say about it. <laughs> so, and if I don't do a part two, then you guys know that I did not do well in this essay. I wonder if my lecturer has actually done suggested readings. I don't think they, mm, because I've never really had suggested suggested readings for an essay so let's have a look and I can share with you guys the essay title okay so the essay title is to what extent have fossils of transitional forms helped us to understand the transition from water to land in vertebrates so I can't find any suggested readings so I'm hoping she'll like explain everything in this lecture She has given no suggested readings, which means that I'm just going to go on to my lectures and just see what topics seem relevant and then try and do a couple readings. Yesterday I just went through about seven readings, copy and pasted sections, put them like in sections of my like rough plan. Today I'm then going to go through and see if it still makes sense. I'm going to go through and see A. Is what I found yesterday relevant like double check that and then B I'm gonna then put it in the right order so it tells the overall point and then C I'm then gonna see <laughs> so funny okay so for C I'm then gonna see if there's parts in my essay which are lacking references so those are the three things for today hope you won't take me too long to midnight and I am finished for the day essay writing. I didn't do the conclusion but I'm not gonna lie. I've never sat down for a whole day and wrote the whole essay. I usually don't do it like this. <laughs> Basically I'm so tired my brain's not working so I'll actually explain I'll explain myself tomorrow. It's about half ten on Monday morning. Plan didn't go as planned. I was meant to have done this over the weekend, but it was someone's birthday, so basically nothing got done over the weekend. And it is due today at 4 pm. I have actually wrote pretty much most of it. I did that on Thursday, maybe. Um, I quickly did the conclusion last night. I didn't film that because, oh my god. 
because we was such a white off I literally just did it in bed it was not in a good way so that didn't look the film but I haven't submitted yet and all I've got left to do is to add diagrams, reference to diagrams. So now that I wrote the whole thing, I will quickly like say what I did and what I did basically. I used to do the intro and conclusion last and just get the like bulk of it done. But now, like the way I did it this time was that I did the introduction, the bulk and then the conclusion in that order. Because in the intro, you really are already setting what you are going to say. But yeah. So introduction, define the keywords in the title and then your likely conclusions that's going to come out from the whole thing. Your body, I do present my point, back up with evidence and my references, analyse the references and then relate, last sentence should relate back to the title and the overall thing that I'm trying to say and it should also do a nice little follow on, follow on to the next paragraph. Conclusions, no new information, summarise what you've already done and then your final verdict, your final like opinion I suppose of the topic but because it's a scientific F essay essay um it can't be like that opinionated it has to sort of be like a formal neutral tone um but yeah and then so proofreading which is what I'm going to do today is so I go through and then I check that everything's relevant that is concise that my tone and style is all like the same basically punctuation make sure I'm answering the question because that sometimes doesn't happen fully explain my points um as if it's in someone that doesn't know the, the subject logical structure subheadings and make sure your tense is okay so that's like that's like grammar stuff but yeah so i basically wrote myself out a plan a general essay plan that i refer to for every essay um which just includes what to do in the introduction body conclusion and what to prove feedback onto so that when i'm doing an essay i go back to there um, reference wise, I've done about 10 now and I put them in alphabetical order last night. Oh, sadie. References though, I do I do it in Harvard, but I do just go on site this for me, Harvard link, um, and then just does it for you if you just copy and paste the journal title. And because I do not know how to have a reference on my own. What else? What else have I been doing? What have I been doing? Oh, and I've italic the Latin words in my essay. I think that's just a formality thing, but I don't think it really matters if you don't do it. I think, I don't really know. But yeah, so now I'm just gonna put my diagrams in, reference them, add a title, add a legend for each one, and proofread it that last time, and then I'll be ready to submit. everything I wanted to do I proofread it I'm like hesitant to submit because I feel really confident on it and I've had enough times where I feel confident and then I get my marks back and it just like doesn't make sense to me but okay I'm just gonna submit oh yeah I'm just gonna submit worst comes to worst 
I can just try again on my next essay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Actually, before I submit, I'm gonna copy and paste it all and put it through Grammarly. I don't have the pro version, but I have the like free version and I feel like it does enough to just like double check me and then I'll submit. 